Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, so I'm going to do this again. I thought this was fun. Um, so instead of showing everything this time, I'm just going to pull them out of there and set this here. And I did find an old school um, pencil sharpener that will sharpen these bigger pencils that I was having issues with on the last video. So the only problem is it's gonna leave a mess on my counter when I uh, use it. So I thought this time I will do another one, uh, another video. So let's, uh, let's put some red in here. So let's do, actually let's figure out what colors we wanna use. So, um, Let's go with, let's see. Oh, I know, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> sorry about that. So I picked two, a, a darker red and a lighter and a normal red. And I think this is just regular red as well. So um, I'll go with an orange. I'm gonna go with some kind of a fiery colors in this one. So let's see, are these two oranges pretty close to color? They're kinda. Um, let's see. Let's go with, I'm not sure. Which one of these yellows you think? They both look different enough. Maybe I could use both. All right, I should probably find one more orange. I don't know. What color is this? Sorry, I have to pull it over here. Tomato, so I assume that's red. So that won't work. Uh, how about these? I guess I'll just see if, I think they're gonna be too close in color. But you know what? Let's just do it. Nah. Um. Let's see, flames have, let's go with, is there a dark purple? There was, obviously there was, because I used it. <laughs> oh, I missed a color to sharpen. Um, let's find a dark purple. I would like a dark purple because there is dark, there is dark, there is a purple. Oh, crap, I have to sharpen it quick. Mm, I'll just do it over. I'll just <laughs> make a mess on my table. I know you can't see it, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure every one of you has uh, sharpened pencils before, so you don't really need to know <laughs> or see it, I guess. All right, so I have this one now. Okay, so here's the colors I'm going to use. Um, no, they're purple. I'm sorry, purple. Cinnamon. Oh, let's see, what color does this, oh, it just says red. <laughs> red, um, cantaloupe, so maybe that. Um, then we have golden yellow, and probably just yellow, and just yellow. All right, so let's go ahead and just start. Let's just put the purples everywhere. And um, oh, I hope I'm in camera. Yep, I am. I have to stand up to look because it's above my head. I set it differently today. So the theme is I'm going to do the same thing again. I figure I'm. I, I don't know. I had a lot of fun doing the watercolor papers or page the last time. And I did get a lot of good suggestions on uh, um, when I was adding the Mod Podge. I will not be doing Mod Podge again. I uh, I absolutely have uh, I've always had issue with the Mod Podge uh, color or like when it was finished. It always has this tacky like feeling and I don't know how to get rid of that. I mean, I've put several coats of 
Mod Podge on things before and they, they just still feel tacky. And it's like, I don't know if it's just something in my area or if it's just, that's just how Mod Podge is. Now I do these at an angle because that way it's more, you know, it's not just straight when, uh, when I roll them. I will be rolling them this way again. So I had to keep that in mind when I'm doing this. And I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and splotch these colors out. Mm, you know what, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'll, I'll do it like I did last time. And I'll put one here. A purple lives over here somewhere. My dog's like, why are you petting me? She just did the, the cutest sigh. Yep, straight up and down. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and put it back in there. Three minutes. All right, so let's go with just red this time. That probably won't get much red in. Let's go, let's start up here. Uh, let's just go ahead and put red here. I wonder if red, the tomato red was gonna be like a uh, darker red than this. But then again, that's what I have this, uh, what was it, cinnamon? Is that what color this was, this other? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's not cinnamon, it's crimson. Dorp, that's what I get for just glancing reading. <laughs> uh, yep, that's me. I do appreciate all the extra views that I'm getting on my channel. It's really nice. Um, it's, it's nice. It's a little overwhelming because I've had this channel has been around for a long time. And I just do it as my thing. Like, I've always been creative. I'm not trying to be conceited or anything. I just, I've always been creative. And then I uh, was having some social issues. And I thought, well, I'll make a YouTube channel. And, you know, that that would help me with uh, some social issues that I've been having. I'm not like, not like, uh, like anxiety or anything. It's more of like, I don't know, just something to do to be social with other people. I mean, I guess it's kind of one-sided. I mean, I am literally talking to myself. <laughs> or at least that's, you know, the perception I have of, you know, right now is I'm just talking to myself. I mean, until I read the comment section. And uh, I will admit when I read the comment about... Uh, I can no longer follow you because they found out that I'm an atheist. That did make me a little bit mad because I didn't realize there there were still rude people like that out there in the world. Um, a, just a short story, I suppose, I don't have much time, was my grandma uh, says that to me all the time, that that uh, my grandma's like 90, 94, so... <laughs> uh, Anyway, she always says, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sharpening my pencil quick, the red. Um, she always tells me that, I'm gonna have to get a garbage can over there. <laughs> um, she always tells me that I'm, that she wants to see me in heaven when, you know, that she's sad that I, that I, she won't see me in heaven. But I told her, I'm like, grandma, I don't believe in heaven. And she's like, oh, you can't, you, ha you can't say that. You have to believe in heaven. And it's like, I don't understand why people can't just accept you for who you are. Um, it just, I don't know. So it, it really kind of made me a little bit sad. And then to hear, well, I didn't intend to be rude. It's like, really? You didn't intend to be rude, yet you had to, you know, impose your, your thoughts onto other people? I mean, that's not necessary. Uh, this is a channel for crafting and, you know my life through my eyes and you know I, I don't need to hear that you don't want to follow me because of my beliefs and I guess that is your choice and it's just been hard for me to 
have to accept that, that there are people out there still like that in the world. And that sucks, because I've had many people find out that I'm an atheist, and then they, then they, they act like, oh, no, it's cool, but then, you know, I find out, well, I can't go any, I can't do this tonight or whatever. But then I find out they went out with their friends and did other things. They just didn't want to do things with me. And, you know, I've had to deal with people like that all throughout my life just because of some stupid little thing, you know, like religion. Because you seem to think that I can't be friends with you just because we don't share the same things. And it's like, that's just stupid. That's just plain stupid. Why can't we all just... You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, I suppose. It just, you know, having a YouTube channel has opened my eyes to realizing that I'm never going to please everybody, I suppose, is kind of where I wanted to go with that. I'm just kind of filling these in. I don't know why I'm shaping them. It's not like I want to keep those shapes. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to end right here, and then uh, we'll get back, and I'll, I'll do my darker red. So, all right. Okay, bye.